Welcome to How Does That Coin Operated Phonograph Work, where today we'll explore the Edison Bijou Coin Operated Phonograph. In 1901, Edison introduced two new spring motor coin operated phonographs the Bijou and the Excelsior. With the introduction of these two new machines, the Edison H, introduced in 1898, was retired. Initially introduced with an Edison automatic reproducer and a string return mechanism, the Edison Bijou quickly evolved to the version we will explore today. The Edison Bijou was introduced at a price of $30. The oak case of the Edison Bijou is simple and compact. Once unlocked, the curved glass lid opens to allow access to the mechanism. Tune selection is announced by a changeable paper insert within a signboard atop the phonograph. The mechanical foundation of the Edison Bijou is the Edison Gem, first introduced in 1899. Operating instructions note that the Edison Bijou is to be cranked counterclockwise. Most Edison spring motor phonographs, coin operated or not, are wound clockwise. However, the Bijou is wound counterclockwise. The coin action used in the Edison Bijou consists of coin operated parts added both on the outside and inside of the gem casting. Coins are collected in a locked drawer accessible at the rear of the phonograph. The crank slips on its shaft when the machine is sufficiently wound to prevent overwinding. The carriage is returned by the action of a spring attached to the body of the gem and the carriage. The reproducer is an Edison Model B, spring-loaded, specifically modified for coin operation. Sound is transferred externally through a set of telescoping tubes. A 14-inch funnel horn is mated to a stationary elbow to allow patrons to enjoy a selection for a penny. It all starts with the drop of a penny in the coin slot of the Edison Bijou coin operated phonograph.
Thank you for watching this episode of How Does That Coin-Operated Phonograph Work?